go to graphics 15. Uh, the storm that Jim just mentioned, the Hamilton uh, area, uh, is uh, the storm that's right now close to the Phil Campbell area. So it has a debris ball on it. Here's Hamilton that Jim was mentioning. There is the Phil Campbell. Uh, there, there is a debris ball. It's heading toward Phil Campbell. Definitely a tornado in progress there. Uh, let me see if I can get the velocities on this one. Yes, you see uh, a tornado vortex signature on that storm. So a dangerous storm there. Uh, we've got tornado emergencies now going on uh, northeast and northwest of Birmingham. And you've done something that you've never done before. Yeah, accordingly, for the first time in the history of the Tornado Condition Index, we've upped the value to a 10. If you're in northern Alabama, it's a 100% chance that you're going to see a tornado within 50 miles. And they may not be just any ordinary tornadoes. These are destructive, potentially long-lived tornadoes. Let's take a look at uh, the graphics 15 for the radar to show some of these tornadoes. We'll start with the one that's coming closest to Jim Cantori. Jim's at Winfield. There's a storm there that is very close to the Hamilton area. That's about 15 miles to his north. Tornado warning for that one heading toward the Haleyville, Alabama area. Yeah, we do. We have t uh, confirmed tornadoes, and they aren't just any tornadoes. They're large wedge or stovepipe tornadoes causing lots of destruction. So northern Alabama, that's the greatest threat area there. 10, 100% chance of a tornado within 50 miles. Uh, now, these uh, radars are very sensitive, and you can actually see the debris being picked up by these tornadoes in some cases. Yeah, and one of those in northern Alabama has a debris ball. That's indicative of debris being picked up. And it's this storm here up near Russellville. For reference, here's Huntsville. So it's generally heading that way toward the Molten area. I'm going to zoom in on that one. Uh, Jim Cantori's in Winfield, so it's one storm to the north of, of that one. Uh, but other storms heading uh, that way could also get debris balls. Let me zoom in here. And we'll see, can you see this little pinkish lavender oval or ball here? That's a tornado, tornado vortex signature right there to go along with it. I've seen so many of these in the past few days, it's frightening. But you can see here the uh, greens going southwest bound, the reds going northeast bound. That's the tornado and it is picked up, it's caused damage. We don't know quite the character of it, but it has caused enough damage there that it is uh, producing uh, that debris signature. The only other kind of thing that can give ret radar returns that intense would be hail. So these are hail spots, but you don't get hail in that kind of a location. I took a slice through it. We can see how high that debris was being tossed by the tornado. So there is a slice. This is all the big thunderstorm hail shaft and rain shaft, but off in the uh, clear, otherwise clear air, the inflow, you see that debris going up. This is 10,000 feet here, so it's being picked up in the air at least 7,000 feet. Uh, we wow. did see a video earlier of some debris being picked up very, very high, and certainly that seems to be the case here. I'm going to go back in time. Actually, it's, it's advanced. We've had some new radar come in. Uh, that ball continues to be in progress. It's going to go about three miles to the northwest of Moulton, uh, but it has hit Phil Campbell. So let me uh, zoom around here just a little bit, and then we'll back, go backwards in time and track where that debris ball has been. You see the Phil Campbell area. We had reports of tornado going across Phil Campbell. You saw as it came into Phil Campbell, it still had that debris ball. And I'll slide just a little bit more uh, and see if uh, how far we had it. Very strong debris ball there near the Hackleburg area. So very strong uh, couplet at, at that point as well. So, Greg, to be clear about this, uh, when you're looking at these debris balls, you're talking about devastating tornadoes in this case. Right? Yeah, it's probably pieces of sheet metal, parts of roofs that have been picked up. And you may recall, if you've been watching constantly, we had a report of a tornado near Hamilton. So that's where it began. That's where we began to get an intensifying signature. And it is headed up now through Phil Campbell and farther off to the northeast. It's going to go just a little bit to the south and west of the Huntsville area. And yes, it's picking debris up in the air and uh, making a very much brighter return on radar than rain would. And, and the movement in this case is uh, 70 miles an hour, yeah. so this is not a case where you want to go outside to try to figure out what's going on. No, you need to seek shelter. We have live team coverage of today's severe weather threat. Jim Cantore live in Winfield, Alabama. Jeff Morrow is live in Birmingham. Mark Elliott is in the Digital Media Center with incredible images from viewers. But first, Dr. Greg Forbes is manning the expert desk, and we begin with Jim. Uh, up toward Hamilton in a little town called Hackleburg. Uh, that, those areas got hit pretty hard, and that's when Dr. Forbes was talking about starting to see that debris ball, uh, if you will, on that area. So that's northern Marion County into Franklin County.
and Jim, we were just talking about the fact that this is really an extraordinary event. I mean, this may end up being one of the worst tornado outbreaks on, on record of any time. Yeah, we're seeing a huge number of supercell thunderstorms in multiple lines rolling across just Mississippi and Alabama. There's additional storms up into the Tennessee Valley near Nashville, uh, into Kentucky, up in Virginia. Uh, so we may wind up with something rivaling the super outbreak in 1974. We may get enough tornadoes also today to push April 2011 to the biggest tornado month on record. We'll see, but uh, it, it's looking unfortunately that way. Greg, also now a tornado warning for Madison Morgan. Uh, uh, that's the Huntsville area. Uh, tornado warning there. Do you have that for us? Yeah, the uh, that is the storm uh, right in here. You see a well-defined little ball down at the end of this hook echo uh, rolling up across. That will head into Tennessee, probably around the Huntland area. So dangerous storms in uh, just so many of them. We try to cycle through and keep you up to date. And we're going to have much more on this severe weather coming up in just a few minutes. Please stay with us.